Dreamland, new period piece drama starring Margot Robbie, Finn Cole and Travis Fimmel, available online now. The story takes place in the 1930s Texas, where the Dust Bowl is making it more and more impossible for farmers to make ends meet and put food on the table. Finn Cole plays a 17-year-old boy named Eugene. He's being raised by his mom and his stepfather as his biological dad left the family and moved to Mexico when Eugene was a little boy. Now he spends his days daydreaming, um, on the one hand of one day going to, uh, to Mexico himself to maybe find his dad and surely lead a better life than is possible at home. On the other hand, he likes to read stories about outlaws, bank robbers and criminals that take life in their hands and live it to the fullest. One day, dreams come true in a way as Eugene discovers a fugitive hiding in his old abandoned farm. That turns out to be Margot Robbie's character, who is a famous bank robber on the run from the law. Eugene trusts her, trusts her story, which paints her more as a victim than a ruthless criminal and helps nurse her back to health. And as he's planning to get back on the move, as she's planning to get back on the move and run away to Mexico, Eugene is quickly getting enamored by the beautiful lady and quietly thinks about joining her on the journey. Now, I have to start off by saying that outright that the film is pretty damn disappointing. Um, despite the premise that is in itself somewhat interesting on paper, it failed to, to really grasp me um, as a film. It failed to make me care about the story. It's a pretty slow drama that takes a long time, uh, about two thirds of the runtime, to just provide setup before things really get going and the story becomes more eventful. <laughs> Problem for me is that all this setup seemed ultimately like wasted time in the face of the very simple fact that I never grew to care about any of the characters. None of them are really made sympathetic. Um, Eugene is very naive, gullible and consumed by his dreams, but there's not really much drive behind him. He's not a good protagonist because he mostly does what other people tell him to do. He displays very little of his own initiative. On the other end of the scale, we have Margot Robbie, who has the more complex character to play, we're supposed to be wondering whether she's ruthless or honest, whether she really is the victim, at least partly, or is she just a manipulative monster? The problem is that the answer is pretty clear from the get-go, and so there's not really a lot left to explore by the audience. And as much as I like the actress, I didn't end up liking the character. This results in a pretty weird third act, where events finally kick into higher gear, the story gets more dynamic and we should care about what's going on, but we don't because we're not on the same page as any of the characters. I also think that the movie is kind of unclear about the themes that it would like to explore. I guess having thought about it, it's partly about a young woman, uh, about a young man who dreams of growing up but doesn't know how to get there. It's partly about telling ourse ourselves the stories of who we are and confronting those stories with reality. And it's partly about people being faced with circumstances that limit their choices and being forced to make, the, make those choices as difficult as they may be. And in doing so, um, revealing their true character. But none of those themes are particularly fleshed out, nor do they lead to any interesting conclusions. Dreamland ended up being a film that, you know, as soon as it finished, I was, I was ready to forget all about it. And I guess that would, that would be how I would describe it most quickly, while also letting you know what is its biggest sin, it's simply forgettable.